Hey y'all, happy Saturday morning rant on a motherfucking Sunday. Sorry about that, I had to travel. Went to Kansas City, hang out with my people, try to make some shit happen. But that means I didn't get to do my rant yesterday, so I'm gonna do it today and I'm gonna keep it short. I wanna talk about something I haven't talked about in a while. I wanna talk about foundations. Um, and so this is my folks from philanthropy. I want y'all to listen up, go ahead, get mad. I know y'all gonna get mad. Whatever. Um, yo, when nonprofits are applying for grants and you tell them to submit a grant for what they want and they submit a grant for $300,000, why are you confused? Like, you said submit a grant for what you want. So they submitted a grant for $300,000 and now you got a problem with it. But it gets worse because not only do you have a problem with it, then you decide to be like, Oh, you know, we're a foundation. We don't really give big grants like that to like new nonprofits or nonprofits that haven't been around for over two years or nonprofits with such small boards or nonprofits that haven't done their 990s or nonprofits that don't have an independent audit or nonprofits that are run like by black people like you. I know y'all don't really say that out loud, but we all know that y'all don't really trust us with your money. But the point is like y'all will shrink the grant and then you won't shrink the deliverables. So like all, first of all, you know we all promise y'all the world, right? I'll never forget walking into a foundation like when I finished my nonprofit career and the nonprofit uh, and, and the foundation officer was like, well, how do I know you're not here like telling us a story? How do we know this is the truth? And I was like, because this is the first time I've ever come here and not asked you for money. So therefore it's the first time that I've never lied to you. What the fuck? Why would you ask me that now? Should have asked me that over the last four years because everybody lies to y'all. If you work in philanthropy, you don't know people lie to you, you need to get a new job. Everybody lies to you. But in some ways, y'all invite it, right? Like, so for 300,000, I'm gonna give you the meaning of life. I'm gonna change the world. Um, I'm gonna make sure that no one goes into the criminal justice system again. I'm gonna cut the criminal justice population in half. Um, what else I'm gonna do for 300? Oh, but we're not getting the 300,000, we're getting 150. But you still want me to do those things? For 150, I need at least $300,000 to give you the meaning of life. I'm sorry, we gotta work on that. So yo, just be thoughtful. And then I know there's smaller foundations that give smaller grants, 30,000, 25,000, 50,000. I get it. I think those grants have value, especially from foundations where that's what they do. But when the bigger foundations be wanting to give a little $50,000 grant, 30,000, you, you can't even pay for a person. You cannot pay for an actual full human being for that kind of money, no matter where you are. You could be in the Midwest and you can't pay for a full person, much less a place like New York or California or some other high cost of living place. So unless you're a small foundation, that's all you could do and that's all you've been doing. If you're a bigger foundation, I don't need your little $30,000 seed grant. It's, I spent more than $30,000 doing this application and emailing you for the last 12 months to get you to invite me to do the application. So all I'm saying is that like, if you have, if oh, and then y'all be wanting to give a grant a year at a time, like spoon feeding people. You don't know how much work goes into putting these grants. It's hard enough, I gotta report to you. I gotta write the proposal. I gotta do the budget. I gotta do the expenditure report. I gotta meet with you once or twice. I gotta wait while you doing strategic planning. Y'all all be doing strategic planning. We be talking about y'all. All, everybody in nonprofit be laughing at y'all or be angry at y'all because y'all all be doing strategic planning. And every time you get a new president, more strategic planning. And, with, and when you do your strategic planning, you do a strategic pause on grant making because we're trying to figure out our priorities. You all do it, this shit is laughable. Like stop trying to justify your existence. You have a fuck ton of money. That's enough to justify your existence. Give that shit away. Give it away, like move the money out the door. Or do, like do the research to figure out where the money came from in the first place. Because you got a lot of people who have come from the nonprofit space, from the advocacy space, from the organizing space, from the activism space that now work in philanthropy. So y'all say y'all there to like move money differently. So one, move money differently. And secondly, do some history on the foundation that you work for and figure out where that money came from. Because I got a feeling if you figure out where that money came from, you're gonna move that money a little bit faster. Why? Because nobody accumulates that kind of money without raping, robbing, and pillaging. So that money comes from someplace, some kind of robbery of labor, slave uh, labor, something. You don't amass that kind of money from nowhere. 
And so you figure out where that money come from, move that money out the door more quickly. And why we gotta do all these grant like documents, like do a video, can we do a Zoom? Can we just do a quick Zoom? Maybe even leave the cameras off. Sometimes I don't even wanna see your face. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's all I got, I mean, I don't know what got me so fired up except Kansas City, fucking Missouri, yo, the prison system sucks. And I wish I could come on here and like, there's some places I wanna talk about and y'all know I'm kinda of fucked, right? I can't talk about it cause I got all these fucking non-disclosure, non-competes, non-fucking non-non-nons and I'm trying to figure out how to work around that shit or get so fucking wealthy that when a motherfucker comes after me, I ain't worried about it. I'll get there though, I'ma figure that shit out. I got some people I really wanna talk about. Oh, and I'm doing some fun shit soon. Thanks to everybody who donated to my GoFundMe. Damn sure I'ma get that money away to people who are formerly incarcerated, but the way I'ma do it is what's gonna be amazing. Anyway, it's good to see y'all. Sorry for not being here yesterday. Happy Saturday morning rant, and don't let nobody steal your rainbow this week. Peace.